Right, my friends, what's up? It's Jacob here. We're looking at Joey Bosa today. Joey Bosa. Not Nick Bosa, Joey Bosa. I don't know that I know a hell of a lot about Joey Bosa, but we're about to. In fact, we're about to hear what David Bakhtiari and Brian Bulaga have to say. So before we actually hear what these guys say, David Bakhtiari is a Packers tackle, which means that he's going up against Joey Bosa. Brian Bulaga is a Chargers tackle, which means that he's on the opposite side of the ball on the same team as Joey Bosa. And uh, let's see what they have to say. When? Like ever, all time? Jewish yeah. peppers. I know he's retired. <laughs> Talking about like this year? This year. Um, Joey Bosa. play against. Who'd you like? Uh... I thought Joey Bosa was a really good player. Yeah, honestly, I was yeah. going to say it, but I wanted to hear you say it too because yeah. you saw him more than I did. Yeah. I agree. That was scary. If he is big, if he is big and he's yelling out like that, look, look at this fucker. Look at that guy. Yeah, I agree. He's got some energy, doesn't he? Alright, after that I have to look up his stats. That is the one thing that's hit me so far. Just yelling. <laughs> because it's fucking intimidating, I'm telling you. Six foot five. Oh, Jesus. Defensive end, six foot five, 280 pounds. Third pick in the first round of the 2016 draft. He went to Ohio State. And with that being said, Nick Minnett. Now, <clears throat> I will, quite happily, admit to anyone that asks that this t-shirt that I'm wearing right now is the reason, the reason why I back Ohio State. This was the first college football subscriber starter pack that I was sent, ever. Not only did I get this, but I also got my Buckeye uh, necklace. What else did I get? Ohio State. I got a hat. I got a hat which I don't have on me, although I did wear many, many times. The red Ohio State hat. Actually, oh fuck, I can't. Jeez, I, I'd be clutching at straws trying to remember exactly what was in it. We could go back and see, but we're not going to. Guys, I just thought, I just thought I'd take the opportunity to bring it back out for this particular video, seeing as Joey Bosa went to Ohio State. Now let's move on. Played for Ohio State. He played 38 games from 13 to 15. 148 total tackles. 26 sacks. And one interception. Okay. March 2016, he was projected to be a top 10 pick in the 2016 draft. And uh, not only was he a top 10 pick, but he got picked third. His pre-draft measurables. 196, or just over 6 foot 5. 269 pounds. That is a big human. That is a big fucking human. And back then, he was literally 20 years of age. What the hell? 477 in the 40 yard dash, 32 inches on the vertical, 10 foot one on the board jump, 28 reps on the bench. You know what, let's, let's not worry about anything else but the height, the weight, the 40 yard dash, and the bench press, okay? What an absolute unit. He met and interviewed with 13 NFL teams at the Combine, including the Ravens, Saints, Cowboys, Browns, and Titans. His overall performance at the Combine was thought by scouts to be, in a word, impressive. Gotcha. April 12th, 2019, he switched his jersey number from 99 to 97. He wore 97 during his tenure with Ohio State. On April 23rd, 2019, the Chargers picked up the fifth year option. July 28th, 2020, he signed another five year 135 million dollar contract extension with the Chargers making him the highest paid defensive player in the league. In week 12 against the Bills he played like it. He recorded three sacks in the one game against Josh Allen and recovered a fumble lost by Allen during the 27-17 loss. So it doesn't have his stats here for the, the year of 2020 but that doesn't matter. The video that we're about to watch is covering his 2019 season where he played 16 games 67 combined tackles, 47 of which were solo. He got 11 and a half sacks last year. He's got 40 sacks 
through his first four seasons in the league. And he's missed upwards of, you know, over 10 games. So in his first four seasons, having missed over 10 games, a total of 51 games, he got 40 sacks. I have to look up his current stats. See how he's going this year. Pro Football Reference, here we go. What's he got this year? He's played 12 games, he's got, uh, what has he got? Seven and a half sacks, okay. 29 solo tackles, 39 combined. Quarterback hits, 27 quarterback hits this year. He's had 109 hits on the quarterback in his career so far. You don't want to be playing against Joey Bosa. You certainly don't. He started in the league in 2016 when he was 21. He's now 25. He's in his fifth year. He's played 63 total games. He's got 47 and a half total sacks. Let's go. Six foot five. He's a beast, all right? Hell of a player. Definitely yeah. ascending. Yeah, I think he does everything really well. His ability to play chess out there, I think, is underrated. I think playing defensive ends and tackles, I think it's more like chess. Um, someone mentioned the chin line or the jaw line of um, old Jimmy G. Look at Joey B. An interior guy's more like checkers, a lot more quick hitting. He's very fluent with his rushes. He's a long strider, so it doesn't ever look like he's jetting up the Damn. field, but he's covering so much ground. He is a long strider. It never looks like he's straining. Everything's just very fluid. Bosa coming, wraps him up, and drops him. A Bosa bomb. It just looks very effortless. He's just smooth. And for a pass rusher, you want to be smooth out there. A lot of smart football plays. Putting tackles in bad positions and countering. Nice. He'll get you leaning on bull rushes, then hit you with a quick swat outside. And he's working against one of the best left tackles. That's Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari. Or jump inside when you're setting for a speed move. That is the up and under move from Joey Bosa. Bakhtiari, you just got shown up big time then. Let's have a look. He'll get you leaning on bull rushes, then hit you with a quick swat outside. Left tackles, that's Bakhtiari. It's just too fast for him. Jump inside when you're setting for a speed move. That is the up and under move from Joey Bosa. And that time he went inside. Joey Bosa probably has some of the cleanest hand combos that you're going to see as a pass rusher. He is so good with his hands. That guy's speed and his will not to quit. It's amazing. It's a savage, man. He has a motor out of this world. I was watching the wrong guy. Good with his hands. That guy's speed and his will not to quit. It's amazing. It's a savage, man. He has a motor out of, out of this world. Every game, he get a sag, it feels like. Almost. Plays at a high level, has that engine, has that effort. He's relentless in his play. Oh, we've just seen him tackle two of my favorite players, Derek Henry and Leonard Fournier. Bosa. Joey Bosa does it again. Chicago. Fuck man, he is quick. He is quick off the line. You would, after looking at that, you would not think he's as big as he is, seriously. You don't expect a guy that big to move like that. How good is Joey Bosa? He was like, Dad, my muscles hurt. I was like, all that screaming and flexing you're doing, he was like, yeah. But was my crawl out good? I just crawled out and, ah. I'm like, yeah, it was nice, Joe. Was it cool? I had so many celebrations for keep up with the night. Look at this, Joey Bosa and Nick Bosa talking highlights and playing at St. Tom. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh no, that's Nick Bosa. Joey Bosa mic'd up at charges. 1v1 me, bro. No, sunscreen. Sunscreen. Oh, this is funny already. This is fucking epic. Because I tell you what, I wouldn't be going out there without sunscreen either, mate. I feel you. 
Oh, what's he forgot now? For fuck's sake. To swipe. Born to be swiping. <laughs> So that's how a defensive end trains, eh? Intensely. I've never seen this contraption used for football training. Jerry, can you hold this? Straight? It looks like a mixture of a squat rack, a playground, and a boxing bag. Wait for me. Oh no. I just need a mark in my hand, please. <laughs> so he wanted his palm to be on that black thing, but his fingers to be just over the top. Some water, please. Right, who are you going to go one-on-one -on -one with? God. I'm in the natural practice, Mike. Like, I wanted to go against the logger. <laughs> Do you reckon he smokes weed? Damn it, dude. I'm not rushing well against the lager. The lager. That's, that, that's, that, that's the guy who was um, sitting down with uh, David Bakhtiari, wasn't it? I don't even know what that was. Just over and over and over again. Holy shit, man. Practice would be intense for these guys. That was a good clear. I like to clear at the end. I see. Yeah, I think a good move for you is kind of like what you did with the ghost rush. Have you ever seen that before? Where it's called a ghost rush. Yeah, 1v1 one one v one me, bro. Stay right there. So I'm coming. Ooh, so you show a ghost arm, rush. and right when, when he reacts to it, you take it away and you just dip right under it. That'll get them the yeah. <laughs> ghost rush, because you're like, here, and you're going, <laughs> exactly. What's happening, Chargers fans? You got Blogger. <laughs> While I'm doing, I'm in the half reps of it. Alright, we're not going to see, well, it probably is there, but I don't have five minutes to spare, because we have another player to watch. I dare vote. You're Don't we? And his name's Aaron Jones and he's a running back and he plays for the Packers. So with that being said... Nick Minnett. Aaron Jones! And here he is now! Here he is now! On screen. For us all to see. Guys, thank you for watching. If you've liked the video, if you've liked the series so far, if you respect the hustle, then hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. We might even be at 139,000 subscribers by the time you watch this video. And if we are, then I'd be a happy man. Because I've been on 138,000 for over a month. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, I've got you guys to thank for that. I mean, the subscribers are still going up, but they're probably not going up as, as, as fast as what they have. But like I said, that means absolutely nothing to me. I've got my base of subscribers. I've got my 138,000 subs. And I appreciate every single damn one of you. So thanks for being here, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.